What's happening out there, everybody? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Vimeo and how to make this look a lot better when it comes to all these different tabs in my Vimeo video. I have this vertical video sitting here. It's just a tree going on with a birdhouse sitting on the tree. And to me, I don't like the way this looks when I stop. It has my little goofy photo. It has my byline. It's got a lot of things that I wanna take out of this video for the best presentation I can on the web. So we're gonna spend a little more time in Vimeo for this project to make sure that this looks as best as possible. And with that, let's get started. All right, so we get started, we first have to upload a video. I've got this amazing video I shot in my backyard. It looks really cool. And what we'll do is we will then drag and drop this into Vimeo and let this upload. Now for a different video, I'm actually gonna upload a vertical video, but this works no matter how you work in Vimeo. Again, I'm focused on this one because one, it's vertical, and I also wanna change a couple settings to make it be as useful on the web as it possibly can be. I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's finished optimizing and uploading. All right, the video is uploaded and we need to do a couple things. For one, I have to get my little face at the top out of here because I just wanna focus on the video and while I look important, I'm not really that important to the video. So I'm first gonna come down to the title and give it a title name. So I'll say an amazing pine tree in my backyard. Now I do wanna use the title for this project because I'm gonna embed this later on. I do wanna have a title describe what this video is. Now if you don't want that, I'll show you how to take it out or keep it in. So what I also wanna focus on, but let's do first, we'll do the first thing first kind of thing. I'm gonna click on player at the top, and this will allow me to choose what I wanna show inside my video. Now for me, I love you Vimeo, but I'm also paying you some money, so to me, I wanna get rid of this. So what I actually have preset is just the basics, but I'm gonna go down through all of these and explain what they do. So the first is at the very top, if I click on it, we have profile, picture, title, byline, let users decide. First rule, never let users decide what you wanna do. I'm gonna uncheck that, and then I'm gonna take off my profile picture, take off the byline, but for this project, I am gonna keep the title inside of here. Oops, oh, come back. Oh, where'd he go? There we go. So <laughs> I do that one more time. Hang on a second. Let's do this, title, not the byline, and I'll come down and click on save. Perfect, that's been saved. Dolby Vision, oh, I guess because I have an iPhone, whatever, there we go. So the next I wanna do is come to the right hand side over here and choose and change what I wanna in this direction. So I got it working okay, player's working, yep, there it is. Oh, I hit save, so I have to come back to it. So then I'm gonna take off the like, the watch later, and the share. And you can choose to keep the embed. It depends on if you allow this or not for your customers or clients. In this case, I don't know why someone want to embed it, so I'm gonna turn off in this case since I don't want someone to embed this video. Coming down the page, we have a couple different things I wanna choose. So one is I wanna turn off Vimeo. Sorry, you're not that important. I do wanna keep full screen. I do wanna keep picture in picture. And in this case, I'll keep AirPlay and Chromecast. Again, this all depends how you want your video to be seen out there, but if you do want this to be broadcast to different TVs or piece of media, you do want to keep this on. I also like keeping the speed, the quality on, keeping the progress bar and the volume. Now here's the thing about the progress bar, which you can also do as a change. I'm going to take this off for right now, but I'll show you where it comes back. I'm going to take that off and click on save. And now we have this video. Again, my thing is I'm thinking about this being a very, very small video on a website. So for me, any space I can basically reduce in size. Let me drop this, close my displays. So I'm thinking about this video being small, as in there. So to me, when I look at this video, I don't have a lot of space to work with, and I want the user to be clickable within this play button. Now the great part about it is that this play button will actually play. So if I share this video, and let me just grab a link here, copy link. Unlisted is fine. Let me just drop it a new link here. Amazing pine tree, there we are. What's great about this play icon is now that we've taken out this progress bar, when I click on play, what happens is the progress bar is actually inside of the play button. 
then it goes away. And then of course I can roll my mouse over and click it again. And I can stop it and start it and stop it and start it. Again, this all depends if you want the airplay and the picture in picture. Looking at it again, there's a lot of things going on here. So I might take the airplay out. So in this case, for my design, let me go back here, close this up. I'm gonna re-click this one. Oh, hello. And I'll take the airplay and Chromecast out because I don't need all these extra pieces at the bottom. I want this as clean as possible. Let's click on save. And if we come back here, we should now, perfect, all I have is the volume. I've got a couple settings of quality and speed. And of course I can go full screen as well right here. Now that this plays, I wanna show you something. Yes, you get to watch this really cool video for about five seconds, hang tight. At the end of the video, this is where I always make sure I wanna show my audience what to do. End of the video, ooh, more from me. <laughs> there's a home screen video, there's a video I made when I was on a trip and I was showing the glitch of something and I made another video as well. I don't want these to be seen because if I'm putting this on my website, I wanna control the click through action. So what I wanna do is I wanna control the interactive elements in here. And clicking on that, what I'm focusing on is the end screen. Now the end screen, you can do a couple things. If you do have other videos, you can show that. But chances are good for this, I'm just embedding one video. So I don't want someone to then click to another video that doesn't even correspond to what I'm showing. So I usually do a couple of things. Either I'm gonna put my custom image in here, I'll put a picture at the very back, or what I like to do is have more of the text at the back, or what I'm gonna do then is the call to action. And the call to action allows me to actually have a call to action. So if I've watched this video, do I want to buy now? download something so I can say, um, claim your free PDF guide if you liked this. Oh. <laughs> Forgot, I have so many characters. I'll just say claim your free PDF guide. What I can then do is under this link, I'm gonna enter a URL and link text or a button as well. So I'll say download PDF. Now for this project, we'll just go to Apple site. So we'll just say HTTPS, maybe. PS colon apple.com. So now when I save this, at the end of this video, if I refresh it, I don't get this more from Hayden S. Adams. What I'm gonna get now when I play this is, hang tight, we're almost there. Okay, I should have had the progress bar for this 10 second video, I get it. Now when it finishes up, boom, claim your free PDF guide, download PDF. Again, I want someone to do something if they've reached the entirety of the video. Like congrats, here's your coupon code, here's something. So I can tell some, something, I can tell someone something to do. That's a lot of words kind of thing. So these are different ways you can actually control your interactivity and your player and you can also include closed captions. Obviously I do not have it because there's no talking in this video. So there's no captions, but you actually Vimeo does auto caption your video. So if you have talking areas, you also can include was the captioning part in this, this closed captioning subtitles you can turn on and you can also show your transcript. Again, there's no talking translation. There's no subtitles or transcription for this video but this is how you can really improve your video's usability online through Vimeo.